Hey guys, so we're just gonna show you how to put on a restraint for sake of time in this video. We're gonna skip through the hand sanitizing and things that we'll go on to in a different slide. Um, but for this one, we're just showing, this is an extremity restraint. Um, and you'll see that it's gonna be placed on like that. So always assess the site, always make sure that you have, check your pulse, check your circulation. And that's really important because if you are to set this on and say you have a bounding pulse now, and then you put it on and you have a weak pulse later, that means that you put the restraint on too tight. So it's gonna go through like that. This reminds me of an old school belt. And then back through. No, don't do that. And then tighten. So it's like that. It's not gonna be too tight for that and then you're gonna reassess again. You're gonna make sure it's not pale or any discoloration for it and that he has that down. And something that's really important about this is making sure that you have a um, an order form for this and that's gonna be gone over too. So see this hook right here? We're gonna hook that here. So what's important is never tie, um, never tie a knot. Always tie a loose, something that the patient, so it, Basically, see how you loop and then set that through. Sorry, it's really hard to get all of that out like that. So what's gonna happen is, Fabian, can you move your arm? Okay, so it's gonna keep from, you can make it tighter than that, but the idea is to keep him from being able to pull out tubes or do anything danger to himself or someone else. But it can be released really quickly when you just undo that. And then you can take it off, like you can move it. And so it's not actually hooked. Um, and that's just the basic gist, and we'll go into it more other than this video.